MDC Alliance leader Mr. Nelson Chamis's failure to accept court rulings is evidence that he assumed power improperly within MDC, ZANU PF Politburo member and Secretary for Science, Technology and Development Ambassador D. Christopher Mitzvangwa has said. Addressing the Michonne Land West Provincial Coordinating Committee meeting in Chinhoi on Sunday, Ambassador Mitzvangwa said Mr. Chamisa had failed to accept all court rulings and democratic procedures within his own party. MDCA's Chamisa does not want to play by the rules. He has not accepted the rulings of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC High Court and Supreme Court. He even rose to the presidency within his own party through a coup, he said. However, the legitimate leaders in his party have since gathered the courage to challenge him and take charge of the party. The move by the MDCT leadership in challenging Chumisa and following the court shows how democratic the nation is. We, however, implore the party to follow its constitutional and democratic paths. Demets Vangwa challenged the opposition party to be patriotic and serve the interests of the country. He challenged land reform beneficiaries to use the land for the benefit of the whole nation. Demets Vangwa observed that President Nangagwa's approval of partnership farming should be embraced by farmers who are failing to use their farms to capacity. While Mishona Land West is the major maize growing province, average yields have dipped to levels well below the expected 9 to 12 tons a hectare. Demets Vangwa challenged the province to consider coming up with incentives to lure investors. As a province that has a lot of farming and mining activities, Demets Vangwa said there was a need to empower the producers so that they do not continue to live in abject poverty. In his remarks, the party's provincial chairperson in justice, legal and parliamentary affairs minister ZMB ZMB called for the use of water bodies to boost production. The meeting resolved to hold another debate on business and economic issues, work on the party structures and look at challenges being faced under the COVID-19 lockdown. Party members also received face masks, sanitizer and liquid soap from KD Mike Chinam, while the party provided all the members with exemption letters for use during the lockdown.